What's your question, sis? Um, what's Jesus' real name? Revelation 19.13. I got you. I'm a, we're going to read what his real name is. Sure, sure. Yeah. Revelation chapter 19 and verse 13. You're good, David. Revelation chapter 19 and verse 13. And he was clothed with a vesture, dipped in blood. Who is that talking about, sis? What's the vesture dipped in blood talking about? His clothing. Why is it dipped in blood? Bring it out. Because he's pure. Blood. What is Christ coming back to do? What did we just read? To, to uh, put them in captivity as they have To put them, them in captivity to kill them, them with the sword right. that killed his people, right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. My sister, Christ is coming back for vengeance. Right. Christ is coming back for war. Right. Right. It's going to be a lot of killing right. when Jesus Christ returns. Right. The true Christ. The black messiah. So sister, that's why it says his vesture is dipped in blood, okay? okay, okay. Read that from the top. Okay. And he was clothed with a vesture, dipped in blood. And his name is called His what? His name is called. So you asked about the name of Jesus, right? His name is what? It's called the Word of God. The Word of God. You know what that means, sister? Hold on, we don't, we're, I'm still touching on your first question. That means uh, uh, we have to be obedient to God's laws. That's how we know the name of Christ. Christ, Christ has many titles, sis. It says in that day we're gonna get, we're gonna get the real name of our God. We just have titles right now. Proclaim his name. His name is the word of God. Okay. It's like it's like a father saying this. It's like a kid going to his father. And he, he might have the bravery to say, Daddy, what, what's your full name? He might say, Dad, my name is Father to you. Do what I say. You don't need to know my name. You, you see what I'm saying? That's what God is telling us. We got to keep his law. That's his name. You understand, sis? Yes, I like that. I understand that. I appreciate it. So now the next question is, what's God's commandment? Give me through our 22 5, real quick. I'm going to show you. Okay, go ahead. All right? Because all that has happened to us is because we broke God's commandments. Right, right. You understand? It's because we broke God's commandments. Right, right. You understand? Yep, yep, yep. God allowed the white man, the Arab man, to come and put their foot on our necks yep. still to this day. Yep, yep. Right? Because all that has happened to us is because we broke God's commandments. Right, right. You understand? What's your question, sis? Um, what's in Jesus' real name? Yes. Christ, yes. Christ has many titles, sis. Um, What's in Jesus' real name? Yes. Yes. Christ, yes. Christ has many titles, sis. Yes. Yes. Christ, Christ has many titles, sis. Um, what's in Jesus' real name? I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Hakwadash. And double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow believers of this truth, of this ministry. Shalom to you, for your sisters, too. You know, your sincere ones. And shalom to the elect. So anyway, uh, I went back and this actual video popped up with the IUIC. And it was some things that was interesting in what they said. Now, we've gone over time and time with this name doctrine, back and forth, back and forth. And we're going to keep forcing it, right? So anyway, you heard him say that uh, the Messiah has many titles, and that's is actually what he was reading in Romans. I mean, Revelation 19, and we'll get that. Maybe I'll start off with that first, right? It says in Revelation 19 and 11, and I saw heaven open up, and behold, a white horse. And this man was using a little magic, right? He was doing some spins in there. This sister didn't know what was going on. But she knew in her spirit that it was very uh, important to know his name. When a woman comes up or anybody come up and say, what is the name of the Lord? And you refute the name of the Lord, you're a demon. Right? Straight up. You know, all these years, we've woken up to the fact that we're Hebrew Israelites. And then here you go. Right? 
we're trying to get closer to our Lord and the Lord has given us a name and let's say the name is gone he's going to give us a new name it's not gone but let's say he's going to give us a new name then do you then abandon the old name for the name that was oppressing us right and then he goes on to say uh, as she was saying well what, what should I call on and he cuts her off and say well it's about the commandments that's a, it's a bunch of fraud man these are fraudulent uh, uh, Pharisees wicked ones yeah, wicked Pharisees that was all about claiming and keeping the laws any damn way. But anyway, Revelation 19 and 11. And I fell, and I fell at his feet and worshipped him. And he said unto me, well, let me go on to 11. And I saw a heaven, I saw a heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon it was faithful and true. And, is, and in righteousness he doth not, doth make war. Um... Let me go on up here to where, you know, to get to the point, right? I think it was Romans 19 and 11, or was it 19 and 12? Oh, yeah, I think I just read it. And it okay, and he sat upon him, and he was called faithful and true, right? So he, he threw that spin, his name shall be called faithful and true. The word name really has nothing to do with anybody's name. It's just that when somebody asks, that's the reason why somebody asks, what's your name, right? What's your name? Now you can give a title, you can give whatever, but when it says um, call on the name of the Lord, you, you have to, in fact, when somebody asks what's your name, you got to give that name, right? Because that's identifying who you are. And this man literally said, if a son came up and asked the father, what's your real name? And he leans over and say, well, my name is father. I don't got to give you my real name. This is madness. So if you get locked up and you locked up in, in prison and you go to the prison house or some jail or you got to go to the hospital, whatever, and you say, uh, my father is, is uh, in the hospital or in prison. And it, People say, the doctor or whoever say, well, what's his name? I don't know. His name is Father. Now, how the hell does that work out? You have to call on his name. Right? So, we go to Revelation 19 and 9, and he was called faithful and true. Right? Pistos, G4103, that's what that means. It means a, per a trusty, faithful person who shows themselves faithful uh, trans transaction of business. As I went before, these are titles. When you when you get a, when you get a car, what do you get? You get what you call a title, right? You get what you call a title. That title is the description of your vehicle. It's not the name of your vehicle. And everybody has a title when they buy a vehicle. Everybody. But anyway, let's get some more examples. Let's go to Exodus. Let's go to Exodus um, 20 and 7. I'm going to lexicon. It says, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. So we go into the lexicon. You shall not take the name of the Lord. Here it says, Yahweh. That's their pronunciation, but it's Yahweh. The proper name of the God of Israel. The proper name. Right? Let's look up the word proper. Because uh, a lot of us overlook certain words. And I would say that was kind of means somewhat like legitimate. You know? I don't know what it's going to say. But I would say it would mean somewhat like legitimate. Proper referring to one individually only. Belonging to one. One. Own. Uh, represented heretic, heretically in, na in nature, belonging characteristically to a species or individual. So when you say proper name, there you go. That's what that means. A proper name of the Lord who will not leave you, who will not leave him unpunished. So when you go back to Exodus 20 and 7, it says, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. 
right so now you see Lord thy God this is English right for the Lord will not hold him guiltless now you know in the the Strong's it doesn't say it twice so when it when you see something that says what is the name of the Lord let's go to Joel 2 let's go out to Joel 2 32 right see what it says and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered so we go to Joel 2.32 and we go into the lexicon. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord. There we go. We see Yahweh. So whenever it says. Let's get an example. I, you know we went through this over and over. But I wanted to do this because. This man literally said. That the Most High have. Uh, Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has many titles. That's absolutely true. He just cut himself. He just cut himself. I might even title it that. Let's go to Isaiah. 9 and 6 I believe that's the one they pull out all the time Isaiah 9 I think 9 verse 6 that's I mean they got the precept packages right Isaiah 9 and 6 for unto unto us a child is born unto us a son is given the government shall be upon his shoulders and his name shall be called wonderful and counselor of course, those are the titles. He cut himself. But as we go to Joel 2 and 32 and various other scriptures when it says, call on the name of the Lord, that word name is only identifying certain attributes or somebody's titles. But when, he, when it says a name of that person, now you got to go on the name of the Lord. This is sickening, man. Right? So let's go to uh, the lexicon. Well, a child shall be born and the shoulder is wonderful his, his, uh, he, his name will be called first of all that word name just only says identifying right it doesn't even have a, a actual definition right but it's identifying to whatever you're talking about his name shall be called wonderful right well, let me go look up name 830 34 it says a byword a fame a famous right memorial name because it can mean a byword it can mean a, a defame you it can all see how many different things the word name can mean it only it only goes to what you're talking about the word name is it, when you're dealing with understanding um, names of people or names of objects it's it's important when you ask asking for the name of an object or the name of a person names are very important when you go to buy a car, you need to have a name. You just can't say it's a car, right? When some people like certain deodorants, they need a specific name of that particular deodorant. I mean, how far do we have to go with this nonsense, right? If you're into speakers, you know, subwoofers like I am, you want to you wanna need, you need to know the name of the quality product that you're buying, amplifiers. I mean, you get the point. Come on now. You just can't say, I want a car amplifier. What kind do you want? Anyway. Um, even in commercials, they'll have something in Burger King called the BK Broiler, right? The name is the BK Broiler. That's not the actual name of what you're eating. That's a title. But it's a burger. It's a so-called hamburger. It's meat. Boy, this is sickening, right? Anyway, Nick shall be wonderful. I believe he sold out. Again, this is all. Those guys don't know. They're, they're so close to Christianity, and this is why they have such a public movement, and they have such a reputation, because they're really a new twist on the Christian church. And that's why all the Christians don't really like them, because really, they're Christians with a spin, Right? Uh, let's go on to his name shall be counselor it means to advise right he's an advisor mighty strong and mighty but that's not the name of him that's the name of what he does and what he represents that's still not the name of the heavenly father Yahweh is his name and Yahweh Shah is his son name right that's Proverbs 30 what is his name what is his son name thou can tell well hell they tell you you can call him whatever you want and really this is 
this is kind of worse than Christianity because the Christians don't even believe that. This is how sick, how they take something so positive in the truth and flip it and make it so negative like the rainbow. This is what they've managed to do. So now you can call, you can pray to Satan. So when we pray to those gods in the altars, right? The Most High wasn't jealous about that. He wasn't angry that we built, uh, prayed to Baal, Peor, and, uh, and all the other gods of, of uh, the wicked gods of the Bible, the, the reptilian gods and everything, the Egyptian gods. So, you know, and we call to those names, right? Uh, uh, Kumosh and um, uh, Astaroth, which Solomon was praying to. Come on, man. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 6. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Yahawashah, but um, that ye withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly. This is why we can't walk with them. This is also proof why we can't have um, unity camps with these guys, right? And the Sakari, they know the name, and I don't know if they push it hard like that, but they let this group uh, speak this hypocrisy, and then they united with them but now there's some other things going on there's a whole lot of weird stuff going on in Israel man and not after the tradition which he received which he received of us right and not after the tradition which he received of us we have the name of the Lord and these guys are telling you you don't have to call on the name of the Lord now it's interesting because I'm going to go into the um, I believe I have it up yeah three and six let me see if I got it it's interesting because in the Strong's it says something else the brothers they were calling the name of our Lord right here we go Lord Master Sir Lord right supreme authority again under master that's another title right the name of our Lord which again is another title the Lord's name is not Lord. That's a title. Then it says Jesus, which we hate that name. Of Hebrew origin, Jesus, the name of our Lord, right? And it says two other Israelites. So we go over here in the blue letter. That's what I'm going to get. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ, which is Yahawashah. I have to say Yahawashah, but for you that don't know, we know that uh, there's people who follow the IUIC that may look at our videos. And we are, we're not doing this because we hate the IUIC and we want to just be better than them. We're doing it because the Lord commanded us to teach, right, sound doctrine, which means whole and healthy doctrines to save your soul and really to save our souls. If we don't do it, if I don't do it, I don't get saved, right? Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So that tells you right there. Lord, again, is another title, right? This is why they put Yahawashah afterwards. Is it that simple? I mean, it is to us. The word name goes to anoma, which we went over. This goes to reputation or title. So we see the word name is just spe specifically mean titling. But that title, when it says the name of our Lord, now it becomes you know a more approved you know it says the name of our Lord right that's a title Kairos which that means master right Jesus Jesus let me click on that right it says Jehovah is salvation Yahweh is salvation there we go the son of the most high uh, Joshua, as we know, uh, Yahweh, uh, Jesus, the son of Eleazar, right? Jesus, her name, um, it goes on and on. But when we go back, here we go, our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, why does it say Jesus and Christ? Because Christ, again, is in a title that goes back to anointed. That's all that, that's all that means. Christ and his and is the Messiah, the Son of God, right? So we link this to him being in the Son of the Most High. But this is also, it says Jesus Christ, 
when it's really just Yahweh He is the deliverer. That's all. So whenever, so um, let me go here. Um, let me go here, and um, let me go to the. Hold up, real quick. Uh, real quick. Um, Matthew six and nine, right? Our Father which art in heaven, <clears throat> I'll be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. So we we pray to the heavenly Father, right? And in that prayer is our Father Yahweh, right? Which goes to H thirty nine sixty two. One of the parts life because anybody can be anybody can be an actual father, but he says our Father, right? So when you pray. You pray in the name of the Lord. Right? That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to pray in the name of the Lord. So we're going to get John 14. Right? In the ESV. Whatsoever you ask in my name, this I will do. What is his name? That the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name. Right? Right? So now, when he says my name, right, this is also a change because he's saying my name. So if I say, what is my name? That's, that's uh, uh, to the point, right? I will do it. But these guys will say, see, the, the word name here is again, so it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to call them. He don't say names with an S. He says my name. And I believe that's clear enough. So I'll have one there, Shalom.